Hello guys, welcome back to Chanda DIY. And today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a floral bandana. It is really easy pattern and friendly for beginners. For this bandana, I recommend you to use the thin thread because it will help the bandana look soft and thin. Okay, now let's get into the video. First thing first, make a slip knot. And chain 3. After you got 3 chains, and next, we are going to continue my slip stitch into the first chain to create the circle. To make slip stitch, continue insert the hook into the loop. You can use stitch marker to mark at the center of the chains. It is where we are going to work in the stitch into it. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. After you have made slip stitch, and next, we are going to make the bulk shade. For row 1, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch. And next, we are going to make the bulk shade into the center loop, which is where we use stitch marker to mark. To make the bulk shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops again. After you have made a double crochet, then chain 1 and make another double crochet into the same loop. And next, chain 1. And make one more double crochet into the same loop. And this is what the first row looks like. And you must have 4 stitches, include the chain 3 stitch. Next, for row 2, chain 3. Turn your work. And make the double crochet into the loop that needs chain 3. After you have made a double crochet, then chain 1 and make a double crochet into the chain 1 space. And next, chain 1 and make a double crochet into the next chain space. And then chain 1 and make a double crochet into the last chain space. After you reach the end of the row, and now we are going to make increase by chain 1 and make a double crochet into this chain 3 stitch. But for this last double crochet stitch, you have to pull up a loop for 3 times. So after you got 3 loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through 1 loop. And yarn over, pull through 2 loops. And yarn over again, pull through these last 2 loops. Remember, for the last stitch of the row, you always repeat this. And for the next next row, you just keep repeating row 2 by chain 3. Turn your work and make the bulk shade into the stitch that near chain 3. And then chain 1 and make the bulk shade into the space between the bulk shade stitch, which is the chain 1 space. And then we are going to keep repeating by chain 1 and make the bulk shade into the chain 1 space until you reach the last chain space. And 
and after you reach the last chain space and then we are going to increase by chain 1 and make the ball shade into the chain 3 stitch Like I said for the last stitch, you have to make the ball crochet with yarn over pull through the loop 3 times to make it look more wider. Please keep repeating this until you reach row 20, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 20. And next, for the last row, we are not going to make increase for each side of the row. So for row 21, chain 3, turn your work, skip the stitch that near chain 3 and skip this first chain space and we are going to make the bogus shade into the next chain space. Then chain 1 and make the ball crochet into the next chain space. Keep repeating this until you have one last chain space. Then we meet you back again. And after you have one last chain space with the chain 3 stitch, then we are going to skip this last space and make the ball crochet into the chain 3 stitch. You just make regular the ball crochet stitch. And then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what the bandana looks like. You must have 21 rows in total. As you can see for the size of this desi square, it is equal 3 rows of the bokashi stitch. So if you guys want your bandana more bigger, please add more rows by multiple with 3 rows. And next, we are going to make desi square and attach it with bandana. To begin, make a magic circle or magic ring. And next, we are going to make single crochet into the circle. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all two loops. Keep making single crochet into the circle until you got 8 stitches, then I will meet you back again. And after you got 8 stitches of single crochet, and next, pull the short string tie to close the circle. And then we are going to make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. After you have made slip stitch, and next we are going to make the petal of the flower by chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch, and then we are going to make the ball crochet 2 together into the same loop with chain 3. To make the ball crochet 2 together, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, and now you have 2 loops on your hook. 
and then yarn over and continue insert the hook into the same loop yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have 4 loops on your hook yarn over pull through 2 loops and now you must have 3 stitches with 3 loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through all the loops and this is what the first pattern looks like and next chain 3 after you got 3 chains and then we are going to continue attach this pedal into the corner of the bandana by make slip stitch into the corner stitch of the bandana after you have made slip stitch and then continue make 2 chains after you got 2 chains and this is the corner of the square and next we are going to make the second pedal by make the bulk shape 3 together into the next stitch of the circle to make the bulk shape 3 together it is the same thing like we did with the first pedal you just make 3 the bulk shape in the same loop And now you must have 3 stitches of the bulk shade with 4 loops on the hook then yarn over pull through all the loops and after you have made the second pedal and then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the bulk shade row of the bandana as you can see we are going to make slip stitch into this row you have to insert the hook into the same loop which is where you made the bulk shape stitch into chain 3 stitch after you have made slip stitch then chain 2 and make the third pedal by make the bulk shape 3 together into the next stitch After you have made the third pedal and then we are going to continue make slip stitch into the next double crochet row of the bandana. After you have made slip stitch and next chain 2 after you got 2 chains and then continue make slip stitch into the next double crochet row of the bandana after you have made a slip stitch and next continue make 2 chains and this is the second corner of the desi square and next we are going to continue make the fourth pedal by make the bulk shape 3 together after you have made the fourth pedal and this is what the half side of the square that we have attached with the bandana looks like and next we are going to continue make another half side of the square by chain 2 and make the fifth pedal into the next stitch After you have made the 5th pedal and then chain 5 For this 5 chains, it is for the corner of the square And next, make the 6th pedal into the next stitch After you have made the 6th pedal and now you got 3 corners of the square and next continue make 2 chains 
and then make the seven parallel into the next stitch. After you have made the seven petal, and then chain six, it is for the last corner of the square. And next, we are going to continue make the last petal is the eighth petal. After you reach the last petal and then chain 2 and make slip stitch into the first petal by count 3 chains and make slip stitch into the fourth chain then chain 1 and cut off the yarn And this is what the first square looks like. As you can see, for this first square, we have attached with three rows of the bokashi stitch. And you can see this bottom part of the banana is not look straight. It's a little bit curved at the square part. That's why at the bottom of the square, I make six chain. You have to pull and stretch this bottom square a little bit to make it look straight. And next, I'm gonna show you how to attach the second square with the other square and with the bandana. To begin, you just make a magic circle or magic ring and then make eight single crochet into the circle. After you cut a single crochet and then make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. And after you have made slip stitch and then make the first petal by chain 3 and make the bow crochet 2 together into the same loop with chain 3. And then continue make 2 chain. Remember from the second square you always start with the first petal with chain 2. And then we are going to continue attach this petal into the corner of the first square. After you have made slip stitch and then continue make two chain. And next, make the second petal. After you have made the second petal, and then we are going to continue my slip stitch into the first petal of the other square. After you have made slip stitch petal with petal, and then chain 2, and make the third petal. After you have made the third petal and then continue my slip stitch into the second petal of the other square. After you have made slip stitch petal with petal and now we are reached the corner and then continue my two chains. And after you got two chains, and then we are going to make slip stitch into the same loop with the first square. Mm -hmm. 
after you have made slip stitch and then chain 2 it is for the corner of the square and make the first parallel After you have made the first parallel and then continue by slip stitch into the next double crochet row of the bandana. After you have made slip stitch, then chain 2 and make the fifth parallel. Then continue my slip stitch into the next double crochet row of the bandana. After you have made slip stitch, then chain 2 and make slip stitch into the next double crochet row of the bandana. After you have made slip stitch, and then we are going to make the third corner of the square by continue make two chains. After you got two chains, and then make the sixth petal. After you have made the sixth petal, and this is what it looks like. As you can see, we have attached the square with three rows of the bokeh stitch. And next, continue make two chains, then make the seventh petal into the next stitch. And next, chain 5, it is for the last corner of the square. And then make the last petal, which is the 8th petal. After you have made the last petal, and then chain 2. And continue make slip stitch into the first petal. Then chain 4 and cut off the yarn. And this is how we attach the second square with the bandana. You just start make slip stitch with the corner and make slip stitch pedal with pedal and make slip stitch into the double crochet row for 3 rows. For the next next square, you just keep repeating the same thing like the second square until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. You must have 7 squares in total. And next, I'm gonna show you how to attach the middle square, which is the V part of the banana. As you can see, it looks like a triangle shape. To begin, you just start with a single crochet for the circle and make the first parallel with chain 2. And then turn your work. And we are going to continue attach this parallel into the corner of the square. After you have made slip stitch, then chain 2 and make the second parallel. And next, continue my slip stitch into the first parallel of the other square. After you have made slip stitch and then chain 2 and make the third parallel. And 
and then continue my slip stitch into the second parallel of the other square. And then chain 2, and we are going to continue my slip stitch into the same loop with this corner stitch, which is the small circle that we make the bulk shade into it. After you have made slip stitch and then chain 2, it is for the corner of the square. And next, make the fourth petal. Then chain 2 and make the fifth petal. Then chain 5, it is for the third corner of the square and make the sixth parallel into the next stitch. Then chain 2 and make the seventh parallel. And next, chain 5 again, it is for the last corner of the square and make the 8th petal. And next, chain 2 and continue my slip stitch into the first petal. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what the middle square looks like. And for the next next square, you just keep repeating the same thing like the second square into this side until you reach the last square, then I will meet you back again. Thank you.
after you reach the bottom part of the last square. As you can see for the other side at the bottom of the square, we made chain 3 at the corner with the bandana and chain 6 for the corner of the square. So we are going to repeat the same thing to the other side. After you have made slip stitch with the corner of the bandana and then chain 3 and make the petal of the flower. Then chain 2 and make the next petal. And next, chain 6, it is for the last corner of the square. And then continue make the last petal. Chain 2 and we slip stitch into the first petal. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. As you can see, it looks curved at the end of the corner. So you just straight it a little bit. It's okay if it's not perfect straight because we will tie it behind and under the hair. And next, we are going to make single crochet as the border around the bandana. By attaching the yarn into the corner of the square, make sure that you're working on the right side of the square. And then chain 1 and make 3 single crochet into the corner. After you got 3 single crochet, and then make a single crochet into this parallel stitch. And next, make 2 single crochet into this chain 2 space. And then make a single crochet into this parallel stitch, which is where we made slip stitch. And next, make 3 single crochet into this chain 3 space. After you have made 3 single crochet, and then make a single crochet into the space between the square and the bandana. And this is what it looks like. And next, make single crochet into the space that near the bulk crochet stitch. And then we are going to continue making single crochet into every chain space and into the bulk crochet stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Then we are going to continue make 3 single crochet into this corner stitch which is the chain 6 space.
And now you must have six single crochet in total. Then make a single crochet into this parallel stitch. And continue with two single crochet into this chain two space. And then make a single crochet into the parallel stitch again. And make two single crochet into this chain two space. And then make a single crochet into this loop between both square. And next, we are going to keep repeating the same thing like we did at the first square until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. For the middle part, which is the V part of the bandana, you have to make 5 single crochet into this chain 5 space. After you reach the end of the row, I only make 3 more chains. In total, you must have 6 single crochet in this corner stitch. And then we are going to continue my slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. After you have made slip stitch, then continue make 60 chains. It is for the strap of the bandana. If you guys want it more longer, just add more chains. And after you got 60 chains, and next, we are going to make single crochet. So as you can see, this is the right side of the chain. Flip it and you can see the back side of the chain. We are going to make single crochet into this small bump that behind the chain. To begin, skip one chain and make single crochet into this little bump. Keep putting this into every chain until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to continue with single crochet into each stitch of the single crochet row until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And 
this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row and then we are going to continue make 60 chains and repeat the same thing like we did at the first strap then we meet you back again And this is what it looks like after you have made single crochet and reached the end of the row. Then we are going to continue my slip stitch into this corner stitch. After you have made slip stitch, then we are going to make the wave edging by chain 3. And make 2 double crochet into the same loop with the chain 3 stitch. And now you must have two double crochet in the same loop. Then skip two stitches and make slip stitch into the third stitch. After you have made slip stitch, and then we are going to repeat the same thing by chain three and make two double crochet into the same loop with chain three. Then skip 2 stitches and make slip stitch into the 3rd stitch. Keep repeating this until you reach the middle part which is the V part of the bandana. Then we meet you back again. After you reach the middle part of the bandana, then chain 3. And make a double crochet into the same loop with chain 3. And next, chain 2. And make a double crochet into the same loop. Then chain 3 and make slip stitch into the same loop. And then we are going to continue make the wave stitch the same like the other side by chain 3 and make 2 double crochet into the same loop, which is where we make the middle stitch. After you got 2 double crochet in the same loop and then skip 2 stitches and make slip stitch into the 3rd stitch. Keep making the wave stitch until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. After you have made slip stitch, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what it looks like. And next, for the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in.
And now the floral bandana is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook page. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.